so in this tutorial we will model this uh, simple slider crank mechanism in adam software and uh, so here the these are the dimensions for crank and connecting rod now velocity is 10 radian per second so, so this will model in adam software so moving to the adam software now before that we will change the settings few settings so units will take here okay this is radian and uh, then uh, we will change the grid settings uh, so here grid will take 20 mm 20 mm so this will the grid settings apply okay so we can make it more dense and uh, okay this way now uh, we'll select the rigid links so when i select the rigid links then length uh, we will see here length what are the lengths this is 10 centimeter 40 centimeter so this 10 centimeter 4 and uh, we'll take from the center and this will be up at 45 degree so this length is created so this way now we'll select the second length which is of uh, how much uh, 40 centimeter in length and it will touch to the this horizontal so i will take the second and this length is uh, 40 centimeter okay so from here uh, so it should, should be exactly at so it is model like this then there will be a this um, horizontal link so we will model it and this length uh, we don't know so we will take this approximately like this then we have to model here slider so this slider will take this rigid box rigid body as a box so i will make fit to the screen then this rigid box body box then here length uh, we can take suppose this is 10 this is 10 or this will make little bit smaller 8 and this will not so this way I think this will be fine okay so in this way we have to okay so this is the slider so once we uh, define all these links the next thing is to define the joints between these okay and we know that this is a revolute joint this is revolute and this is between this pair is a revolute so we'll go to the connections and this is a, a revolute joint so when we select so first we have to select the two bodies two parts so this part two and this part three we have selected and then it will direct us provide the joint so this we have defined then one more so this is part this is part four and this is part two and this is rule of joint and now this is part three and this is part five and this is rule of joint now between this slider and this this is a uh, what is this joint this is a sliding pair okay so we have to do the this define this so for that purpose we will select this now we have to select the uh, part this part 4 and this part 5 and uh, from here in this direction okay so motion is in the x direction so this slider is created now uh, we have to before uh, giving this angular velocity what we need to fix one link so that will go to this what is this is fixed joint so fixed joint so that will be a part 4 and and ground and so this is fixed 
okay now we'll go to the motions and uh, in the motion we have to define rotational joint motion and that will be the this joint so this this will rotate like this okay so now we have to give the um, velocity and this velocity is uh, 10 red radian okay now we will go to the simulate it and uh, this we have here duration we may specify something 15 then steps will be a 0.01 this will start and then we will verify the model model verified successfully then we will simulate okay so this speed is very so we can reduce it let's check now still it is we have to still reduce it okay i think this speed is okay now so we can stop this uh, animation um, We can stop it now. We just see this force angular velocity. Now, here we can see the part uh, objects, and uh, part 5 is uh, slider. So its velocity we can check at curves. So this is velocity in mm per second. Okay, then we can see angular velocity of part two. So this we can plot. So this way we can check the velocity of individual links okay so thank you